This story is about the importance of not getting sugar in your pockets. Let me take you back to a second date I had with a woman named Stephanie. It was a few weeks ago on the evening before New Year's Eve. A double date, actually, with her best friend Amy, who was from out of town and seeing a man she had been out with a few times before. We were traveling back from the Crystal Hot Springs in Honeyville when Amy's date decided that it was a wonderful idea to drive into downtown Ogden and walk through and see the Christmas lights. It was a cold but clear evening. I'd been munching on some Sour Patch Kids I got at the hot springs during our drive and trading funny glances with Stephanie at the idea of walking through Christmas lights at 10 p.m. on a Saturday evening. We got out of the car. I put my hands in my pockets and Stephanie put her arm through mine. Our date, at least, was going pretty well. We hadn't taken more than a few steps when I realized there was some sugar in my pockets that had been getting under my fingernails. I stopped and pulled the package of Sour Patch Kids out of my pocket, realizing I hadn't closed the bag very well and it must have leaked. I threw the bag away, placed my hands back in my pockets, Stephanie replaced her arm, and off we went. We made it across the street before I had to stop again. I pulled my hands out of my pockets and pulled the pocket out as far as it could go to try and get the sugar out. The sugar was really getting under my fingernails and starting to frustrate me, making me uncomfortable. By this point, Amy and her date had disappeared and Stephanie was standing there and asking me if I was all right. Of course. I just have some sugar in my pocket. Sugar in your pocket? What do you mean? Her look didn't say crazy, but it certainly came close. It's no big deal, I told her, as I put my pocket back in its rightful position, put my hands in my pockets, and hoped that Stephanie would replace her arm in mine. I didn't make it very far. I don't know how many seams and crevices the pocket of this jacket had, but I could not believe how much more sugar suddenly appeared in my pocket and started to rub against my fingers. I couldn't take it any longer. I took off my jacket, turned the pocket completely inside out. Stephanie just stood staring at me, unsure to laugh or mock or assist the apparent madman she had suddenly found herself on a date with. It didn't matter. I was going to get the sugar out of my pocket or I was going to die trying. I pushed and pulled and did my utmost to extract every granule of sugar I could find. After a few moments that must have felt like eternity to Stephanie, I was a neat, composed gentleman once again. She kept giving me sidelong looks, so when I felt the sugar in my pocket after a few more steps, I fought the urge to scream and tear my jacket to pieces. I smiled and did my utmost to be an engaging date. Since then, whenever Stephanie thinks that I may be getting a little frustrated, she sweetly asks, is there sugar in your pocket?